Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. We're here. If you take a look at the screen, we're about to test out, check out Reason 9. This is a beta release. Now, this isn't really a review. In other words, I'm not going to open this up and start. This is information. Okay, all I'm trying to do here is project information. I'm not saying good things, I'm not saying bad things. Um, I'm just projecting information. Now, okay, let's drag this over here. When you open Reason 9, the beta anyway, this is what you get. Okay, this is what I see. Browser is, is organized, taking is basically inheriting the Reason 8 settings as far as the folder structure and the rack extensions and all that. Um, but as far as the main interface, this is what opens. This is the default. Um, pretty much looks very, very similar. There's a few changes. There's an icon down here to send your tracks. Alahopa, Alahopa. Send it to all of hope. It's basically you send your track there, and then uh, people from around the world can collaborate. So it's it's kind of a it's a neat thing. It's not for me, but it's a neat thing. And so uh, yeah, you can instantly click here, title your track, and send it over there, and then somebody else can pick up on it and work on it and send it back. As again, I haven't used this myself, but it is a, a powerful thing. As far as I know, like I say, I haven't used it. Um, Let's go to preferences. Uh, the main thing, the first thing I did is I went to preferences to check out some things that, that I was hoping that they would add or, or change or, or give me more options for. Um, first off, this particular beta, I was really looking forward to checking out the darker interface. And for some reason, there's no way to get the darker interface. So like I say, this is a beta and I don't know, hopefully that's going to be included. It's right there on the first page. For some reason, when I was in the program, I just didn't see it. Um, so this is actually the uh, the blue theme. Now this is cool. I really like this. This is a, a pretty cool environment. Um, but it does it doesn't translate to the mixer, which is kind of a shoot. I wish can I open up a reason a normal reason project in here? Can I do that? Will it let me? Well, let me open it up in Reason 9, though. Oh, look at that. It's in Reason 9. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Ooh, very cool. All right. I'm liking this. Now, again, it doesn't translate to the mixer, which kind of sucks. Like, that's kind of a huge letdown for me. Um, and it doesn't really translate very well to the rack. I would like it if all these rack headers were gray. I like... You know what I mean? I feel like the sequencer and the browser I love, but I really want to see the rack and the mixer. It's like it's like it's half done or something. But of course, this was on default. It's harder to see. We're going to actually close this and come back because it requires a restart with the dark theme, and we're going to check that out. So this is the blue theme here. There it is, the blue theme. You see it there? There it is. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're going to close down and come back up. This theme I like better. Um, it's pretty neat. I'm going to open up a track in here so we can look at it. Just the way the colors look on top. Again, it's it's not translated well to the rack, I don't think. but uh, Or to the mixer. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is kind of... It's like they started to put it on the mixer? What What's going on there? It's like... It just feels really half done. It's just, I don't know, this should be a name your own price. This just. What the hell just happened there? You were in trouble on the sea last night. You got yourself a gun and went away where you couldn't be seen. Lost in the street. Way, 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 where you couldn't be seen. Way where you 
at something else here we're gonna to go to the block we're gonna go into uh, this rhythm pattern here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm going to go bounce in place okay let's check this out what this did here what this did is it muted the original track which is it's still there it's MIDI so yeah your MIDI track is still there it's automatically muted and then it's given me a uh, an audio track with that particular track bounce. So if we play this, so that's pretty neat. I like the fact that it keeps the MIDI track. Um, unfortunately, this part of the tutorial was actually filmed after for the rest of the tutorial. So the rest of the tutorial is going to be in a normal uh, plain reason, what you're used to, the Reason 8 theme. It's not going to be in the black or the blue. I think if they mess with the color palette a little bit more. And so here we're back to the uh, to the blue theme. Again, when I open up those colors with the black theme, they do feel a little unnatural. But I was hoping that they would incorporate that into the into the mixer and like that that make that whole kind of dark theme throughout the whole program. As far as even the master section here, making that a darker theme. Again, to backtrack a little bit, preferences. This is all pretty much the same. Uh, audio pretty much the same control surface you know pretty much everything's pretty much the same um, I was hoping that again I've been I mentioned this in my last review of reason 8 I was hoping there would be a little checkbox to default auto routing also I would hope I was hoping that I was going to be able to choose my default track color and then because this 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 orange or tangerine is just I don't know it hurts my eyes a little bit. I know you can go up here and you can go to uh, options and you can go auto color tracks and channels. And what that'll do is every time you put a a new device in, it'll it'll be a different color. Click off the auto color tracks and channels. And what that'll do is every time you add a device, it will keep the same track color. So you have a consistent color through your through your uh, project. The problem is I want to set that default color. That would be really handy. Why that is is because let's say I drag this uh, this uh, subtractor down here, and uh, and I add a uh, you know a clip here. I'm really having issues with the contrast here. Now, if we go to some of them are even worse, like this lemon. This is even worse. I mean, I have the contrast here is just really messing with me. My favorite clip color is actually the bright gray. I love this. It's it's easy on the eyes. It's easy to see the contrast between the sharps and flats. And I wish I could set this clip color bright gray as my default. And then if I went up here and I went to options and then unclick the auto color tracks and channels, Every single time I add a channel, it would be this beautiful gray. That's what I was hoping. Some some sort of just simple things. Now a few little things as far as uh, as the sequencer. They've added this nice little band of color. Now the aesthetics. This looks really great. I really like how this looks. It looks nice. Um, they add this close button here, and so now they have the edit mode. You can just click off and on. I really like that a lot because. You know, I can get back and forth very easy. So I'm a huge fan of that. That's cool. I really like that. Another thing is if you are to right click and add an audio channel in here. 
and then double click that, it gives you the option. Or you'd start out in the slice editor and have to close that to get into the comp editor, and it was just kind of confusing. Now, you have your options up here. You have the slice editor, the pitch editor, which is very cool, very powerful. I'm very excited about the pitch editor. This is cool. I messed with it a little bit, and it's, it's pretty neat. And then we have the comp editor. So all three edit modes are right there. This I really, really like. I'm, I'm two thumbs up for this. I really like this a lot. Um, and then this big close button here, you can get you back to the main uh, thing. So yeah, kudos for that. I really do like that. I still really like this, the zoom button. That's actually a, a reason 8.2 or something up, up, update, but you click that and it, it, I love that. Very nice. A couple of other things are you know, the instruments, no new instruments, no new effects, no new utilities. But we do have a new sound bank, and it's actually, it's separate from the factory sound. It's the Reason 9 sounds, and I think there's a thousand sounds in there. They're not done by instrument, they're done by sound, which I think is kind of cool. I'm fine with that. Um, but you can tell by the icon what the instrument is. Ancient writing, we'll go ahead and click on that. So yeah, tons and tons of new patches, new sounds. That I always like to see. That is something I almost expect in an upgrade.